So how do we check our motives is the question. Yes. Um, why do you want what you want? <laughs> why do you want a relationship with God? You know, I, I tell I tell people often, don't want him just for what you have in mind and the things that you have been told he's going to give oh you. Welcome to Real Talk with Tracy Metellus Ministries. We have Miss Tracy Metellus. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. That's good. So, Tracy, today I have um, a few questions for you. Okay. And I thought it would be interesting to talk about godly principles and protocols. That's good. So I was actually watching a TV show, um, and on this TV show, they were talking about how um, how things manifest for them in mm. the natural. Manifest. That's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so what had happened was, and it was you know actresses, and so they were. Um, it was two actresses who had met, mm -hmm. and so they basically prayed together, touched, and agreed. Uh -huh. And just say that we would work together mm. someday. Someday. Uh huh. And so two years later, guess what happened? They were able to work together. Mm. And then there was another situation where an actress had wanted to be, and I'll just share her name. It was Megan Good because I really thought it was interesting. She had wanted to be like an action or superhero. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to be able um, to to showcase um, or for young girls like her uh -huh. to be able to see themselves in those type of roles. And what she did was she said, you know what? Basically, she prayed, uh -huh. but then she start preparing her body because of course being a superhero you have to do all these different things Correct. and so she said so she start working out working out eating right and really just building her muscles you know just preparing for that role although that she didn't even have a role in mind so I wow. thought that was interesting and what is even more interesting is she went to um, have an, an interview for a role uh -huh. and she didn't even know what the role was. And she got a call and they said that she got the role. And then finally found out that it was for a superhero. And wow. she had been preparing though, which I thought was interesting, mm -hmm. five years. Wow. That's big. Yes. And the first thing you said that stood out to me was manifesting. Mm -hmm. And... So, first off, I want to say that principle of preparing for something to come to pass and working towards it and believing that it will happen is a kingdom principle. Um, and so, what you're sharing with her, I kind of, that's good. And I'm not saying it's good or bad, but mm -hmm. I kind of want to bring it into our world, like our world today where we are, because you touched that word manifesting and that thing stood out like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, cause I've been hearing so much about people, um, saying they manifest mm -hmm. and they manifest things and, um, they manifest their world. They manifest their, their lifestyle. They manifest things to come the way they want it and they believe it happens. And guess what? Things does happen. <laughs> to be honest, it happens for them. But I wanted to kind of talk about the difference of living a kingdom life and living a worldly life, believing that you can manifest things to come your way and still be out of the will of God. You know what? And I have uh, seen things, because I like to hear affirmations. Okay. Okay. But then what I started finding out was their worldly affirmations. Um, I hear people calling on the universe. Uh-huh. And I'm 
I'm saying to myself, okay, wait a minute, this is not God. And uh -huh. then I start realizing, okay, I need to be careful. Correct. Because now, who am I believing this for? And what are you engaging in? That's even bigger. Yes. And, whoo, yeah, so the biggest part about the most important thing about what we're discussing right now today is understanding the kingdom principles of we don't manifest we allow holy spirit to manifest the things that god we speak and we proclaim and we declare the things that the lord has allowed us to for our life but we don't just manifest stuff because we can get into that manifestation mindset and start speaking things and thinking that this is the will of God because it's happening, but not understanding that Satan can bless you as also the same as he told Jesus on the mountain that if you bow down and worship me, you can have all of this. And so you have to understand that even with you receiving all of these things, it does not mean that you have a prosperous ending because your soul can be lost while you're manifesting all of this rolly stuff. And the crazy part of that is people think that we have to engage the devil as we say devil but what you just said was we don't even have to say the word devil no and we don't even have to have in our mind that we're praying to the devil right terminology like my energy mm. i release good energy engaging <laughs> in spirits that are not of god Mm. I felt their energy that had my energy. And it's like, no, wait a minute. You were discerning their spirits mm -hmm. that was conflicting with your spirit because you need to watch the terminology that you're using because you it's a thin line to engage with the enemies. Um, all of his schemes and all of his tactics. tactics and all of it. It's a thin line. So, energy, universe. I'm just thinking of all the things that has been said out there that um, can bring confusion. Okay, go ahead. And so, even with tithing, mm. because... I remember this is a long Good. time ago with the Rockefellers. Okay. You know, they would give 10%. Mm. Um, Oprah would give 10%. Mm. And not even saying whether they're saved or not, but what I was finding out is that Christian principles are also used as worldly principles. Correct. So, tithing, I know I have heard a ton of people believing in tithing as if this is their way in relationship with God. This is their way with intimacy with him. And this is their way of knowing that they're right. Mm -hmm. And then they also receive that when they tithe. They receive the finances, the overflow, the abundance of the finances. And you can work kingdom principles and receive back off of you working that principle. But you have to remember when Jesus said, people will come to me and say, I have done great things. I have did many things. And he'll say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I known you not. That word known me, I was not in relationship with you. You work my principles, you use my name, but you never knew me. That will work for you, but you will not enter into the glory of our kingdom and Lord and Savior. Mm -mm. So then it goes back to motives. 
motives. <laughs> yeah. And checking our motives. Mm. How do we know our ooh, motives? Oh, I feel so much weight on that, girl. But, ooh, <laughs> that thing now strong, okay? Oh, my goodness. That's strong. Because I can, I can go on. Yeah, that's, that's strong. Um, manifesting. A lot of people, they, they say, God, God don't play about me. They using him for their own motives, like you said. Mm -hmm. Schemes. These get rich schemes. These fame. You know, they want a lot of fame. They, yes. they want all of this glory from the world using the name of our Lord and Savior. So how do we check our motives? How do we keep our motives pure? How do we search um, search God in, in a matter of making sure that we are in alignment and really walking in divine obedience with him? And I'm saying that because I, I'm just thinking about myself and, and my walk. There was a period of time where I didn't like really focus on obedience and alignment. Uh -huh. I was just focusing on, okay, I love God. I'm a mm -hmm. Christian. Okay. And so, and then I just keep it moving. Gotcha. But now what I'm understanding is that God desires um, obedience and alignment. And with those things, that is what actually creates the desires that uh, we have that God wants to give us. Mm -hmm. But it's a form of, not even a form, it's us being in alignment. Uh -huh. And so, and what I've been finding out is that a lot of times, you know, that we think we're not being blessed. Mm -hmm. But then we have to check our motives, uh -huh. our obedience, uh -huh. and whether or not we're actually in alignment with God. Yeah, that's good. So how do we check our motives is the question. Yes. Um, why do you want what you want? <laughs> why do you want a relationship with God? You know, I, I tell I tell people often, don't want him just for what you have in mind and the things that you have been told he's going to give oh you. Like, don't want him for that because it's not going to last. It's almost like marrying somebody because they got cars, money, and fame. Soon as they lose it, you lose them because you're no longer interested. Mm -hmm. So check your motives about why do you want him? I want him because he died for me. You know, he loved me. I love him. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want him because I want to know him. I want to know his character. I want to know what he's about. I want to know what he's thinking. Like, I want to know him because I want intimacy with him. I just want relationship. All the rest of that stuff just comes with it. But that's not my goal. Do you understand that? That's not my goal to get from him. I want his heart. To get from him. Mm -hmm. To use him. Mm -hmm. To take him for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes I don't even think we realize... Mm -mm that we're taking him for granted. Because when we go to him, we're always going to him in need. We too busy. Tracy. We our agendas. We, we too busy. Our agendas mean way much more <laughs> than just spending time with him, than just finding out what he wants for today. We got too many. Our agendas is way more than too important. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we got to do this. So busy. So busy. Trying to chase that almighty dollar a lot of times is what keeps us moving and shaking. Getting out of alignment, meaning chasing after desires that we have. Yeah. Instead of putting God first to find out. What does he want for us? And yeah. then uh, allow those things to align. Correct. And we don't want to go through that process of delayed gratification because Ooh. we want everything right now. Right now. We want that microwave to work all the that time. That YouTube tutorial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Easy. 
and yes. fix it, and it's a pop up, and it's done right it now. Done. Mm -mm. We don't want that that suffering, that long suffering. We don't want the um, the the patience of just knowing that waiting it builds character, it builds maturity, it teaches you to be stable and understand how to persevere like go through things like we don't want that because if god don't do it today he don't love me and now i gotta have a fit because my world is jacked up because i was supposed to do this and i was supposed to have that and then when i'm losing stuff now i'm losing my mind why do you think this generation is such a mental i mean so many mental attacks so many they don't know how to wait process we, I ain't going to say they, I'm going to say we. we. Yes, we. Pardon me. We, because I'm in this where God is training me myself. Mm -hmm. He done had to sit me down plenty of times <laughs> <laughs> and teach me that, listen, if I give that to you now, why, why are you trying to speak it, name it, and mm -hmm. claim it, turn it around, and it's there next week? Why are you trying to do all of that? If I give it to you, then you wouldn't even know how to handle it. Mm. That's why you crash it. So if we're talking to you who don't even know, you just ran through buku money and you never can keep it. Mm. You're not mature for it. Yes. And I think about even um, it, whether it's ministry or whether it's graduating from college or graduating from high school where like the there's no process there's no growth um where immediately i should be making a certain amount of money mm. <laughs> you know or even um i remember uh there was a time where i was um on my job and i, I left the job and i ended up going back full circle uh-huh right back at the same job uh-huh and so, but I left at a time that was difficult. Mm -hmm. And so the second time around, God was like, no, you need to stay mm -hmm. because I'm working something in you and it's difficult and it's a struggle and it hurts and you're frustrated. But guess what? This is part of your process yeah. and you're going to have to stay here. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to know how long I stayed there? How long? Probably close to like eight years. Wow. Mm. I know you got everything he was trying to give you. <laughs> <laughs> All the maturity you need. Exactly. Yes. But to understand him. Yes. And to understand that who he is and then appreciate who he is. That's right. And not take him for granted. That's right. And then to also learn, because like you said, if if I give that to you now, mm -hmm. you won't be able to sustain. Yeah. And if I skip that process, uh -huh. right now I wouldn't be able to sustain. Hmm. Wow. Wow. You know, I'm thinking about even like how you're saying we wouldn't be able to sustain. And then I'm I'm trying to bring it into also with somebody may want to know, like, okay. How do I, how do I really receive what is for me, mm -hmm. you know, without using the worldly, you know, manifestation or mm -hmm. all of the techniques that they, they do texts that they do and all of the strategies that they take for it. But my advice would be to find out what he has said about you to call those things that belong to you. That's what you are speaking and using your tongue and power for. It's calling the things that he said about you into your now. What's mm -hmm. already established in the heavens. That's what he's believing for you to take authority over and walk in and receive. But not the things that the world has promised you. And not the things that your own flesh you know, we have this greed. Mm -hmm. We like, we want more. We never, we can never have enough, okay? Once we get some, 
we need some more. <laughs> and so <laughs> find this so out. True. <laughs> the greed is ridiculous, but that's the mentality and the mindset that we have. And so that's the areas where God is saying, I want to destroy that mindset. And so that you can come out and be in a place where you will really know how to really walk in the manifestations of the Lord. We thank you for tuning in today. That's we 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 love <laughs> sharing these things with you. And so until next time, we love you all. Let us pray. Yes. So, <laughs> so, Lord, we just thank you for this time. And, Lord, we thank you for opening the ears of your children who has came and tuned in to hear what you had to say about them. And, God, we thank you for sharpening them to walk in your truth. And we thank you for exposing the lies of the enemy. And we thank you for exposing all of the strategies that he has to destroy your children today. We thank you for bringing wholeness oneness and God we thank you for blessing those who has an open heart to receive your truth for it is in Jesus name we pray amen and amen